Hello, my first graders. Today, we are going to start on page 501. Okay, you'll see this picture about uh, weather on there, all kinds of weather. So if you're not on page 501, stop the video, find this page, okay, and then hit play when you're ready. All right, so this is an introduction to what we're going to be learning about over the next few chapters. It says all kinds of weather, and you notice the children are dressed for different types of weather or different seasons. Okay. In rainy weather, we play together. We use things we use for rainy weather, raincoats and umbrellas. We use circles to complete the graph. How many raincoats do you see? So in this chapter, we're going to be working on grafting, okay, using graphs. Here's a graph up here, but it's not complete. Notice there's no circles in there to show how many of something. So we use graphs to show how many of something there are, or maybe how many kids like something. So this is raincoats. Look at this picture. How many kids have these yellow raincoats on? Well, let's count them. One, two. Two kids have raincoats. So we're going to put two circles, one in each box. So one raincoat, two raincoats. Those circles let us know that, hey, there's one, two. Two kids wearing raincoats. Now they want us to see how many kids have umbrellas? Now notice, see how it, when umbrellas is here, when it's on the side, we go across. And we'll look more closely at graphs as we, as we go through our chapters. All right, let's count these purple umbrellas. One, two, three. Three purple umbrellas. So that means we need how many circles? Three. One, two, three. Notice one circle in each box, and one circle can fit in each box. So now we made a graph to show how many raincoat, how many kids have raincoats, and how many kids have umbrellas. Now let's answer the questions. How many raincoats do you see? Well, let's use our graph. How many raincoats did we see? Two. How many umbrellas do you see? Well, how many umbrellas do we see? three. Right? One, two, three. You need to pause at any time. Go ahead. If not, we're just going to keep going forward. In sunny weather, we play together. Mm, so they play together in the rain. Now they're playing in the sun. Okay. Things we use for sunny weather. Sun hats, sunglasses. So again, here's our graph that we're going to need to fill out. Use circles to complete each graph. So we can actually answer these questions first sometimes instead of filling out our graph first. Okay, we can do it either way. How many sunglasses do you see? So look in our picture. How many kids have sunglasses on? Just that one. So we'll put the number one here. So now that we answered that question, we can also fill it in on our graph. Sunglasses. How many kids had sunglasses? One. So we just put one circle. How many sun hats do you see? Well, let's see. How many kids have these sun hats? One, two, three, four. Four kids have sun hats. So we can put the number four here. Then we can also fill the information in on our graph. How many kids have sun hats? Well, how many do we say? Four. So how many circles do we need up here for sun hats? Four. One. Okay, now our graph is complete. We showed four kids had sun hats. We showed one kid had sunglasses. Whatever the weather, we play together. And there they are, playing in the snow. They didn't ask us to graph anything this time, did they? No, but we could if we wanted to, right? If we wanted to make a graph, we could graph how many kids ha maybe have hats on. 
We could even graph how many kids have scarves on or jackets. There's many different ways that we can graph. So we're gonna skip through this one because we actually already did our graph here already. And we're going to skip through these because we did them already. And we're gonna look over here, okay, at measurement. Okay, so we skipped all those other pages. Measurement. What objects in this picture are shorter than the arch? Look at this big arch, really tall. This is a real thing. I believe it's in St. Louis, if I'm maybe. But this giant arch, somebody made it. Okay, it's like a decoration. Um, and that the they're famous for it. What object in the picture is shorter than the arch? So we see how tall this arch is shorter. So would something that's shorter, would it be all the way up here or would it be down here if it's shorter? Yeah, shorter means smaller. It would be down here. So what do you see in the picture that is shorter than the arch? Probably right away you said trees, right? <laughs> and if you look really closely, you see a few other things like maybe benches and things like that that are shorter than this arch. Very good. So shorter means smaller. So let's take a look at this page. We have bigger and smaller. So show what you know. Circle the bigger object. Well, think, what's bigger mean? Is bigger going to be small or large? Yeah, bigger means it's a larger size right? This one's kind of small. This one's bigger. Look at this one. Now look, the directions change. Circle the smaller object. Smaller. Which one's smaller? Yeah, this one. That's right. Look, that one's big, right? And that one's small. So this is, we'd say this is smaller. Circle the longer object. Draw a line under the shorter object. So let's do what they ask us to do first. Longer, which one of these shovels is longer? Right, this one, right? Longer, so think about it when we looked at these, right? That was kind of going up and down. Longer means, uh, is usually when we're talk, comparing objects going across. That one goes out further, doesn't it? So that makes it longer. Look at these crayons. Which one of these crayons is the longer object? Yeah, the top one goes out further, right? They both start at the same spot, but this one goes out further. Okay, then it says draw a line under the shorter object. So if this one is longer, which one's shorter? Must be this one, right? Shorter. Same thing, look at this. Which one's the shorter? Yeah, the one at the bottom. Put a line under it, shorter. So we have bigger and then we have smaller. We have longer and then we have shorter. All right. Write each number in order to 10. So here's one. So what comes after one? Yeah, two, and then you'd keep going. I want you to pause. Fill in those numbers. Hit play when you're ready to check. All right, you're ready to check. Did you fill, finish filling this in? I hope you did. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know your numbers in order. Very good. All right, look over here. Visualize it. Sort the review words from the box. So here's our box up here with review words. We have number words like 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we have words that talk about measurement. Long and short. Longer and shorter. Just like we did over here, right? We said that these are this this was a longer than this one. So we're gonna use those words to help us out. We need to visualize it, sort the review words from the box. 
Okay, so this just says sort. So we want to sort the words. Which ones are talking about length and which ones are numbers? So what do you think we should start with first? How about numbers? Let's think through our box. Which words are numbers? Well, we have nine. They put nine in there for us. So I'm just going to put a little check mark next to nine because we use that. What's another number word? Ten. Ten. Ten is a number word. If I go too fast at any time, just pause. I'm going to put a check mark. I use ten. Nine, ten. What's that next word? Ooh, eel, eleven. Eleven is a number word. And look at this one. What do you think? Nine, ten, eleven, tw twelve. Hey, if you need to pause, go ahead. I know I write fast. All right. Then we have length over here. Well, they already gave us the word long. So remember, length means, right, how long something is or how short something is. It's when we're comparing size, okay? That's what length means, comparing size. So we have long. Mm, so if it's not if it's not long, it could be short. So let's write the word short. So we have long and short. All right, look at this word. Longer. What do you think? Longer is that a length word? Can something be longer when we're comparing or using measurement? Yes, we did longer here. This one is longer than this one. Longer. Notice they took the word long and then they just added that ER at the end to make it longer. And look at our last word, longer and sh shorter. Is shorter a length word? Yes, if this is longer, then this is shorter than this one shorter. So we use longer and shorter a lot of times when we're comparing, okay? When we're comparing objects like we did with the crayons, we said that this one is longer than this one or this is shorter than this one. All right, if you need to pause to finish up, go ahead. If not, I'm going to keep going. Complete the sentences with the correct word. All right, so we're going to use these words again. A crayon is blank than a marker. So let's picture a crayon. Let me see if I have one nearby or oh, I, I do. I do have a crayon. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Michelle does not have all her supplies in here. Let me see. No, I don't have a crayon. I'm missing crayons. So let's just think. Here's a marker, right? Is my crayon going to be... Is the crayon, a crayon, is it going to be longer than this marker or shorter than this marker? What do you think? It's going to be shorter. A crayon is shorter than a marker. Okay, so we use that shorter, remember when we're comparing the marker versus the crayon. All right. A toothbrush is blank than a paper clip. I don't have a toothbrush in here. I do have a paper clip. Get that paper clip out. So here's my paper clip. So let's think about this. A toothbrush. A toothbrush. Is a toothbrush going to be shorter or longer than a paper clip? Yeah, a toothbrush is going to be longer. Toothbrushes are pretty big, aren't they? got to be long enough to get in our mouth longer than a paper clip okay so we have a crown is shorter than a marker and a toothbrush is longer than a paper clip right write the name below the number so look at each of these right you're gonna go back up here 
find the word that matches the number and write it down. So pause. When you're done, hit play to check. All right, you ready? You, sh you ready? You should be, you can check your work. This was nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, those were our number words, nine, 10, 11, 12. If you made a mistake, you can pause and fix. If not, I'm gonna turn the page. All right, so there's a little game that you can play. And then here's our vocabulary words. I'm gonna go over them really quickly with you. So these are our vocabulary words. These are here. If you want to ever look at them or rip them out, you can, you can use them. Let me just adjust this a little bit so you can see the very bottom. All right. It says an hour has 60 minutes. So we're going to look at time in this chapter. We're going to look at hour. Okay. So an hour is kind of long. Think about 60 minutes. It might be the amount of time that it takes you to do your math sometimes is, is a whole hour long, right? If you do your math and your personal math trainer, it can be an hour. It takes the minute hand, the minute hand has to go all the way around the clock and it takes 60 minutes, okay? A half hour has 30 minutes. So we're gonna learn about time to the hour, which I think you might've done in kindergarten and time to the half hour. So a half hour, so if an hour means that this goes all the way around the clock, a half hour means it only goes halfway around the clock. Look at that blue. It's like they cut the clock in half. So that's a half hour. That minute hand goes down here on the six. And we're gonna talk more about clocks this chapter. Then we have longest. So look at these pencils. Right? Which one is the longest? Yeah, that one at the top, the blue one. Right? Longest. Right? Then we're going to talk about the hour hand. They kind of go out of order, so I'm going to point to this one down here instead so we can see longest and then the next one they're asking us. Look at this one. This word is shortest. Which one is the shortest? Yeah, this red one right here, shortest, right? Shortest. So think about short, right? If you if you're short, it means that is you're not very tall, right? It means you you are closer closer to the ground. So look at this. Shortest means it's not very long, right? It's the smallest, but we call it shortest when we're going length. Okay. So, we'll take a look at this one. This says there are more stars. So we're going to learn about the word more. More means bigger. Look at the stars in the triangles. There's more stars. We're going to be comparing things and we'll see which one has more, more stars. Okay. And then back to our time with our clocks. We're going to, we talked about time to the hour where the minute hand goes all the way around. We talked about half hour, which is halfway. Then we're gonna look at the hands on our clock. We're gonna learn about the hour hand, which is the short hand, okay? The short hand is the hour hand. And the minute hand, which is the long hand, okay? Minute hand is long. I always say, look at the words minute and hour. Hour is a short word, minute is a long word. So think long hand, long word, hour, short word, short hand. It says an hour has 60 minutes, and that's just what they showed us up here. So minutes, right, means the little bit of time that goes around the clock. So a minute is pretty quick. We were done. You could be, snap your finger in less than a minute. A minute was probably about how long it took us to go over these words. Okay, kind of short. All right, so those are our words that we are going to be using in this chapter. There's another game in here that you can play if you want to, um, but tomorrow we'll move on and we'll talk about our first lesson in our chapter.